first of all, this is a story time. So grab your drinks, grab your food, because it might be a little bit long because I'm about to tell you guys about the other night. Yeah. Me and Crypto, we have gone to so many different YouTube events and we there are always free drinks at these YouTube events. And a lot of YouTubers, they get crazy. But however, I'm not one of them. Me and Crypto, we kind of just chill because the last thing anybody wants to do at a YouTube event is get wasted, get crazy because it might end up on somebody's channel. So with that being said, I just want you guys to know that no, I'm not like this super huge like party girl that drink like a fish and don't know who's who the next day. But the other night, things got a little bit weird. Things got a little bit out of hand. So what happened was me and Crypto, we got all dressed up and we were going to uh, Pretty Boy Fredo's birthday bash. So he had a little clubbing night with the boys, which by the way, Crypto did not tell me it was boys night. So I happened to be the only girl there that night. But Crypto didn't know it was boys night. So that's kind of like, he just said that, you know, Alan the Barber was like, yo, we have a party for uh, Fredo's birthday if you want to come through. He didn't say like, oh, it's boys night or, you know, only you're invited, not your girl or anything. So nobody said anything. So I came. So me and Crypto, we got all cute. We had like matching sweaters on, like you see it in the video, Smash and Pass. So we had that same sweater on that night. And we had like, you know, gold chains. We had the same Jordan 13s. So it was looking fresh, you know, we was looking real good for, for, you know, stepping out. Like we almost look like we're supposed to be going to like a sneaker event, but we're going to a club. So this is the first time me and Crypto like literally match from uh, head to toe. So we get to Fredo's house. Then I go upstairs, and um, everything was cool, you know, he had a bunch of drinks out, uh, he had a hundred bottle of Hennessy, which ended up being gone by the end of the night, but he had like Crown Royal, so it pretty much the night started off very cool, very calm, and then Flight got there, a lot of the people that work at Sneaker Games was there, so everybody was cool, everybody was chill, you know, just sipping on some lean, you know, whatever, it's chill. The whole time when I was inside Pretty Boy's, Fredo's house, I had a little uh, Crown Royal, and it was like Apple Crown Royal or something like that, so, you know, we poured like maybe this much Crown Royal, and we just sipped on it. And there was like no juice in sight, like no, no juice laying out. And I didn't want to ask them like, hey, do you guys have any juice or any soda that I could pour with my drink? Because normally when I drink, I don't drink shots. I don't drink straight. I drink it with juice. For the first part of when we were at his house, there was none, none, no juice laying around. So I just drank the Crown Royal by itself. And then it was like maybe, literally maybe this much in a cup, in a regular cup. Yeah, so I was, you know, feeling a little tipsy, then, you know, Pretty Boy Fredo did a little uh, Instagram story thing of him reaching a million, by the way, congratulations, um, and, you know, also turning 24, of course, so he was very hyped, he was very happy, and we were all really happy for him. You know, we had, like, champagne and stuff out as well, so Crypto was like, alright, don't drink anymore the Crown Royal, like, you know, just start drinking the champagne. So he poured me, like, maybe this much champagne. So it was like a little bit of Crown Royal left and this much champagne. So maybe the drink was like this much at this point. Again, nothing crazy. I mean, I've had normal drinks before, so it's not like that little bit of drink is going to get me like really messed up. So then the night goes on, we go to the party, we go to the club, and we get in the VIP. And they we took the Hennessy bottle with us, by the way. So anyways, we're inside the club. Everyone is turned up. And then there's, of course, you know, when you're in VIP, they also have more drinks. Because you actually you're forced to buy a drink. You can't sit in VIP unless you buy a drink. So pretty much Fredo asked everybody what they wanted, asked Crypto what he wanted. So long story short, we ended up having four bottles. Four bottles of like three of them were Ciroc and one of them was another bottle of Hennessy. By the time the second bottle of Hennessy, because remember we took one into the club, that one was gone like probably within 10 minutes of being inside the club. Then the the rest of the liquor came maybe about, I want to say like 25 to 30 minutes, the rest of the liquor came. And by that time, everybody was like already messed up. I didn't feel like I drank that much at all. Like when I got to the club, 
I try to make a toast with Pretty Boy Fredo. I went like this because we I was standing uh, below the bench and he was on top of the bench. So I just kind of like went like this, like, hey, happy birthday. So he thought I wanted more Hennessy. So he poured like the full bottle of Hennessy. Like my cup was like this big. Like I had a little bit of drink right here that he poured it all the way to the top here. Like he poured so much Hennessy that it like spilled over my, my sweater. So anyways, um, obviously I didn't drink the whole thing of Hennessy. Crypto took the drink from me. He was like, you're not drinking that like at all. By the way, I still didn't have really that much drink at this point so what I did is I poured a little bit of Hennessy like maybe this much into the cup and then filled it up with juice and that's pretty much what the rest of the night went is like I had a little bit of liquor and most of it I would say 80% of it was juice at this point crypto had to leave the club because he had to carry someone out so he left the club and it was just me and Eric's, which is the owner of Sneaker Games, whatever. It was just the two of us. And he wanted to go check on the rest of the boys that left. He wanted to see, like, if everything was okay. So he left, and then he told me to get off the bench. Like, at this point, I was kind of standing on the bench or slash chair in a VIP. So I, when I was getting off the bench, this is where stuff got really bad for me. I jumped off. Well, I wouldn't say I jumped off, like, jumped off you know I would say it was just like a slight hop down you know because I'm short so I just slightly hopped down so when I hopped down the floor was super slippery my Jordans literally just went like this like it, it was like literally like this like if I'm on like an ice skating ring so I slipped so hard fell on my ass then I hit the back of my head so it was like one of those like slide boom BAM kind of thing. The bench that I jumped off of, the back of my head hit it. Everybody in the club saw it. Everybody. And because I was a little tipsy, so my body was like kind of numb at this moment, I did feel pain in the back of my head, don't get me wrong, but it was nothing compared to if I was sober. If I was sober, I would literally be in so much pain, I would have to call an ambulance. So because I was drunk, like, you know, when you're drunk, people can literally punch you and hit you, and you don't feel as much pain as if you were sober. So that's kind of like what happened to me. I felt pain, but I got up like a G. And, you know, at this point, there was this girl that came up to me, and she's like, are you okay? Like, are you okay? But I went like this, because I was like, I'm not really okay, but I'm not, like, not okay. So I'm, like, in between, so I went like this. And then so Eris was like, yeah, she's okay, don't worry, she's okay. So anyways, I went to go hold the door for him so he could leave the club and then come back. And um, that way he has someone to... Because once you leave the club, you can't come back, which is really weird. I don't know why they do that, but like once you leave, you just can't come back, even if you're a VIP. So anyways, about maybe five minutes later, everybody started coming back. And there was crypto. So the first thing the security guy asked, told him, he was basically like, yeah, you know, there's something I need to uh, discuss or something like that. And then he's like, what? And then the security was kind of like, you know what? Never mind. Like, he didn't really want to tell him, like, what happened. Because he knows we were together. We were wearing the same sweater, same outfit. So, obviously, we were together. Or, I mean, he saw us, like, kissing. So, obviously, we were together. So, anyway. So, then Crypto's like, what? What? Like, what, what happened? And then the security was like, you need to take your girl home. Like, you should take her home. She's really drunk. So then, obviously, Crypto came over and was just like, all right, honey, like, we, we need to go home. I mean, it was the end of the night. Like, the club was closing. So it wasn't like I was like, no, I don't want to go home. You know, like, we went home. So we got out of the club, and we are so far away from our car. We literally had to call, or actually, we rode on a, a bike. Like, you know, the guy's riding a bike, and then he has, like, little seats where you can sit down. So we got on one of those things, paid the guy $25, and he rode us to where we parked our car because it was really far. Finally, we get there, and at this point, I'm just like, you know how, like, when you're in a club, you, you, you didn't realize how messed up you are? But then, like, once you get out of that environment, then you realize you're really messed up. So I would say on a scale 1 to 10, I was probably about... A seven. I'm not. A, I'm not the. T I would say, ten is when I actually start throwing up. Where this is just becoming a bad night, and it's just like I'm throwing up, whatever. So I was probably a seven. So I was near throwing up, but not exactly there. 
and I didn't even drink that much. And the funny thing is, I didn't even drink that much. Like if if we can count how many cups I actually had, I would say I probably had one and a half cup of drink, really. And that's with the juice and everything, like 1.5 cups. But for some reason, I don't know if it's because we were drinking like straight out of the Crown Royal and then we had a little bit of Hennessy mixed with other stuff like other drinks. Maybe that's what did it to me, but for whatever reason, I fell on my ass in a club. I have never fell on my ass in a club before, like ever, ever. Who does that? And I'm not even that drunk. I can understand if I was drinking and my head was spinning and I fell, fell on my ass, I would totally take that L and just be like, you know what? Alina Hodge took an L from drinking. I get that. But how did I fall on my ass and I wasn't even that drunk? Like my head wasn't even spinning. I knew exactly what was happening. So anyways... I still took an L for the night, so that's pretty much it for the crazy night that I had, um, which is really, I'm glad, like, at that point, like, the rest of the people, YouTubers, was not there. The only person that was there was Eric's, and I'm sure he told people, I'm sure, but I'm glad, like, nobody else was there because I would have been so embarrassed if they see me fall on my ass, hitting my head. And Crypto would have been so mad at me, like straight up. If he seen that happen, he would have been mad at me. He would have been mad at me because he would have been like, you literally just made a fool of yourself. You know that, right? Like he would be concerned for my head. You know, he'll be concerned that I fell. But then he'll be like, I can't believe like you fell in a club. You know what I mean? Like kind of one of those things. So yeah, let's just say long story short. And this was like legit. Only the second time I have met Pretty Boy Fredo. The first time I seen him at the mall, we didn't really talk because I was walking into a store. Crypto said hi, but I didn't say hi. I, w I went to a store. So this is the second time that I've seen him in person, but the first time that I've actually spoke to him, like a, like a, you know, regular conversation. And I can't believe I made a fool of myself. Like, but he didn't see that I made a fool of myself, but I still made a fool of myself, you know what I mean? So, anyways, um, let's just say in the future, though, if I'm ever at an event with other YouTubers, and I know this so good, so well, I know this so well. That's why when we're at other events, like in LA, in Texas, in PAX, I have never, ever gotten, like, drunk. I've never, ever made a fool of myself because I know. So... Last night, it wasn't really a YouTuber's event, but there were YouTubers there. In the future, I know now that I need to stop, like, after one drink, basically, and just chill, like, chill. With that being said, my birthday is coming up. I am not going to be drinking. I'm not going to be going out until my birthday because, yeah, I just need to chill because the next day... My body felt like, like somebody had hit me in the back, the butt, the, the side, the head. Like, I felt like somebody had beat the shit out of me the night before. Then the whole next day, I was laying in bed. And I'm still a little sore on my legs and stuff like that. I'm just gonna chill. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the story. Follow me on, on my Instagram. And check out the video that me and Crypto did, the Smasher Pass. It was super, super funny. And subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 10K. Almost there. And thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.